how to make a precise circle. So that means getting your right blank out. We're going to do two circles with 8 inch material, a 10 inch ID circle, and a 10 inch OD circle. So that's, well, we learned that in geometry class, diameter times pi, right? 10 times pi? Well, kind of. Coming up. All right, so I want to just talk about a few things first to help us maybe understand uh, how and why we need to adjust our equation diameter times pi depending on whether we want our ring to be ID or OD. So we have a ring here and taking a section view of that, a detail view of that, um, on the inside of the curve we're actually in compression. So, and then on the outside of the curve, we're in tension. And then this line here in the middle is the neutral axis. And it is actually the same measurement and the flat as it is rolled. This is called the K factor. And it's expressed as a ratio of the compression distance over the total thickness of the metal. Now, when you're rolling... Uh, metal we can generally assume that the K factor is 0.5 or directly in the center so now that get, it gets a little bit more complicated with say CNC air bending press brake air bending but uh, for rolling you can just generally assume that that neutral axis is right in the middle so let's go ahead and cut a couple pieces for a 10 inch ID ring and a 10 inch OD ring. All right, so we're gonna cut two blank outs for two circles. The first one is gonna be 10 inch ID as you can see here. And so if we're going diameter times pi, we need to increase uh, this number by a 16th over here and a 16th over here to get to where our neutral axis is. So 10 and an eight. And so we'll get 10 and an eighth times pi and we get 31.79. Over here, same thing except in reverse, 10 inch OD. And so we need to figure where our neutral axis is to get our stretch out, which will be subtracting a 16th on this side and a 16th on this side because we're using eighth inch material. And we want them to go to uh, the center of, right through the center of, of that material. So we'll go 9 and 7 eighths times pi uh, equals 31.01. .01. So we'll cut both of those out. We'll roll them and see how we did. So I'm going to cut out our blank outs right here to the dimensions that we figured up. And I just wanted to let you know that this also does work with 16 gauge, 14 gauge, quarter inch, whatever material size thickness you're dealing with. Uh, just remember that, yeah, the neutral axis is going to be right in the middle and, and figure your dimensions appropriately. So taking the material over to the roll and going to roll them now. So the first part that you stick in the roll always leaves a flat spot, as you can see here. So I welded it and I'm going to stick it back in the rolls and uh, to help kind of flatten it back out stick it back in there and re-roll it a few times. So I went ahead and rounded them out just a little bit more on the anvil. I uh, just didn't quite round them out enough on the roll there at the beginning of the roll. But uh, got our two rings here and let's see how we did. So as you can see we have exactly 10 OD on that one and exactly 10 ID on that one. All right guys, so thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to subscribe. I should have some more project videos coming out real soon, uh, but also some more tutorial videos like this. So you'll really want to subscribe if you like the tutorials as well. So I think that's all guys. See you on the next one.